Hello everybody, this is John Rigo and I'm going to do my 2014 NFL predictions. First I'm going to start with the AFC. Um, my division winners are going to be New England because they're in that cupcake division, but they're a much improved team with their defense, adding Darrell Revis, adding Browner, getting back Gerard Mayo, getting back Wilfork, etc. Um, I don't think they have much competition in the AFC East. Maybe Miami pushes them a little bit, but... I don't think so, so much. The Jets, who knows? Rex Ryan's a train wreck, and Buffalo's been bad for years. So I think they'll go 12-4. and four. Um, In the AFC South, I'd like the Colts to win 12 games as well because who are this competition? Houston, fine. They'll be better than 2-14, and 14, maybe, what, 7-9 and nine because a better coach with Billy O'Brien. Tennessee, 5-11. and 11. And Jacksonville, I don't care. Even if they play break... Lake Bortles, I think the, the most will win is five games. So the Colts should take that division. Now the most competitive division is the AFC North with um, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cincy, and Cleveland. Um, I really think that um, as much as some people are down on them, I think Cincinnati take this division. They should win 10 games. But be competitive with Baltimore, 9-7, and seven. Pittsburgh, 8 wins, and Cleveland. As much as I want to see them do well, because I feel bad for a team that's been in the playoffs once since the Browns came back in 1999, the most will win is 5 games, maybe 6. Johnny Manziel's a train wreck, and I think he's going to be a big bust in his career. Now in the AFC West, everybody knows here that I'm a Broncos fan. But I'm not going to favor them. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. I think Denver won 11 games this year. They get a brutal schedule. If they go to Seattle, play San Francisco at home, um, at the Rams, and Arizona at home. So, I mean, at the game against Seattle is going to be very tough. I mean, I hope they can show something after what their struggles were last year. Um, San Diego pushed them a little bit, but I think they'll win 10 games, be a wild card team. Um, Kansas City, I think, is going to fall off to 8-8, eight and eight, and the Raiders are a train wreck again at 5-11. and 11. Um, So my playoff teams, Denver, the Colts, the Patriots, Cincinnati, and then my second wild card with San Diego having one. I think Baltimore will be the other one. And ultimately, coming out of the AFC, which I've told a few people, friends of mine, I'm picking the Colts. Reason why is Andrew Luck's going to his third year. His first two years, he's 22-10. and 10. He had the second biggest comeback in NFL history last year against Kansas City in the playoffs. I like that very much. Um, he's a young guy coming into his own. They added Hakeem Nix, and I think that's really going to help them. I know Denver and New England are right there with them, but this is just my opinion. Just because I'm a Bronco fan means I don't pick them to win every year. I was telling some of my other friends, too. I've been a Bronco fan since 1983 or 82 before Elway, etc., I picked Denver to win the Super Bowl one time, and that was in 1998 when they were stacked. I didn't pick them last year because who knew? I mean, Manning disappointed me a lot in 2012 against Baltimore when he throws a pick in the playoffs. Last year, they did pretty well until the Super Bowl was a train wreck. Things went wrong for everybody. I'm not going to lay it all on Manning. I mean, he didn't have a good game, but neither did Marius Thomas, neither the offensive line, the defense, the special teams, the coaches, everybody. Okay, now... My AFC pick for the Super Bowl is the Colts. Now in the NFC, NFC East, which I don't think is a very good division, I'm going to pick Philly to win 11 games. Um, I think the Giants will be better, like an 8-8 eight eight team. Uh, the Cowboys are going to struggle. I think they win six. And I think the Redskins win six because I am I don't believe in RG3. I'd rather play Kirk Cousins. He just doesn't look right to me. He's never recovered from that knee injury, and he wants to run around. You've got to learn how to read, read a defense. You have to make some plays. It can't always be, yeah, I'm going to run. Oh, I panicked time to run. I don't like that at all. All right, in the south, I am going to pick the Saints to win 11 games. I think the Saints are the best team in that division. Um, I see Atlanta improving to nine wins. I don't think they're as bad as they were last year. Um, I think Carolina's going to hold fall off a little bit, maybe to seven wins, because basically they got rid of everybody, got rid of all their receivers. Cam Newton's coming off of an injury. I don't think they're going to be a train wreck, like some people have said, 5-11. and 11. I think that was Peter King, but I think they'll win eight games. And Tampa Bay, I know some people are so high on Tampa Bay. They have a good defense, but they have an unproven quarterback in McCown, who started 
what, four NFL games? I think they'll win six or seven games top. Okay, now in the AFC North, the black and blue division, I'm going to pick Green Bay. I think Green Bay could possibly be the best team in the NFC. They have competition. Green Bay is going to win 12. I think Chicago will be better this year. Cutler's not as bad a quarterback as some people make him out to be. Um, Chicago win 10 games. Uh, the Lions, I think, are going to have push for the playoffs, but I think they're going to fall just short. I think they'll win nine. And I think Minnesota, with a rookie quarterback transitioning, I hope to see him in a Teddy Bridgewater. I want to see him play. Um, I don't know how much I think he's supposed to start. I, I don't know. Maybe it's Castle ahead of him, but Castle, I think, will fail at some point. No offense to Castle, but he's not an NFL quarterback. At least not an NFL starter. Um, I think they'll win six. And now the best division in football, um, the NFC West, the Super Bowl champ Seattle. I think this is going to be the year that San Francisco overtakes them. San Francisco win 13 and Seattle win 12. So, I mean, not really overtake them. But last year when um, San Fran played them in the playoffs, they had a good chance to win until Richard Sherman made a good play and then mouthed off like a total chooch. Um, so I'm going to pick San Fran in the division. Seattle will be a wild card. And Arizona's a good team, but eight wins. And then the Rams losing their quarterback, unfortunately for them, which is sad because Sam Bradford played well. I think they'll win five games. My wild card team will be Chicago. And I'm going to go a little bit on a limb here. I'm going to say Atlanta. Atlanta will be the second wild card team. And coming out of the NFC, I'm going to pick the 49ers. I think the 49ers are a complete team. They have a good offense. Um, Another one, Kaepernick's going to his third year. I know at times he struggled in the preseason, but it's preseason. I remember the Cowboys used to go 0-4 every year with Emmitt Smith, Troy Aikman, and they come out and win the Super Bowl. So, who knows? I think San Fran against the Colts, which is a matchup of last year. I'm going to pick the Colts to win. I mean, that's my preseason pick. Of course, we'll look back in January and say, wow, John, what were you talking about? It's like, hey, this is my opinion. Everybody has the right to their opinion, etc., Obviously, I want Denver to win the Super Bowl. Of course, I want them to win every year. Sometimes I think there's reasons why that they won't. The schedule is tough this year. Losing Welka for four games. They just got popped yesterday with the suspension. That's not a good thing. You're going to be putting in an unproven person in that third receiver spot. Manuel Sanders is new to the offense. I think he'll do well, but who knows. So that's my prediction. The Colts over San Francisco in the Super Bowl. Um, and just to throw out a couple picks for this week, um, I think Denver will beat the Colts, but it's going to be really close, something like 31-27. to 27. And uh, the Colts have a much easier division than Denver, too. That helps a lot for the playoffs. Um, and obviously, people around here that are friends of mine from Boston, who I have a lot of respect for Tom Brady. I mean, hey, why do I have to hate him? Because he's on the Patriots? No, I respect him. I've been through so much in my life recently, I don't have hate for any team, really. Maybe the Montreal Canadiens because they cause too much pain. But even that, it's not venom. I'm not going to hate you because of a, a, a color or a uniform. I love the game of football no matter who's playing. Even when my teams have bad years like the Broncos have had when they had after Jake Plummer left with Cutler, train wreck is. I still watch the Super Bowl and enjoyed football because it was football. I, uh, going back to the New England pick, I think New England beat Miami pretty easy, like 27-14. Um, San Francisco at Dallas, I think San Francisco will win 27-17. And the opening day, I think uh, Green Bay is going to hang in there, but I think Seattle will win 27-24. Because the new rules changes where you can't kill the receivers. You can go, and it's pass interference, legal contacts. That's going to help Manning, Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, even Phillip Rivers, um, even guys like Dalton and um, Matthew Stafford are going to do well because he's got Megatron Stafford, so that's going to help immensely. Um, another pick, too, some people will be interested in. San Diego's going to Arizona. I know Arizona was good last year, but I like San Diego to win that game, like a 24-21 type game. So, All right, those are my picks for this week and my predictions. I hope you like them. If you don't, leave comments, tell me why, etc. And... I'll leave it one final thought, too, is I've been a fan a long time of the sport. When I like a team, I like a team. But when players leave, I don't like to say, oh, we knew we got rid of them because you're a bum or you left the Broncos, you suck now. I hate that. Respect. If you left there and you 
mouth it off about the team, fine, then there's a reason why not to like the guy. But if you left on good terms like Eric Decker, I wish him well in New York. I don't want him to beat the Broncos when they play him, but I have nothing against Decker. He was excellent for the last three years for Denver. Why should I have venom towards the guy? I'm not going to. Hey, made more money with them. You only have a shelf life of so many years in the NFL as some guys have gotten injured, so... So, anyways, that's how I feel about that. Root for your teams, but respect your opponents. All right. Have a good one until next week. Take care. Bye-bye.